What's up Falcons Nation? It's your boy Jew coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation rise up. In today's video, I want to talk about our first round pick, uh, AJ Terrell, cornerback out of Clemson. But with that being said, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. Um, I appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel, continuing to tune into the channel. But let's go ahead and jump right into the, this quick video. So, as you know, with our first pick in the NFL draft this year, in the first round, we took cornerback A.J. Terrell out of the University of Clemson. Um, I expect some big things out of the rookie this year. Um, like I said, he is one of those longers, uh, longer, excuse me, cornerbacks. Um that Dan Quinn prefers um, when he was in Seattle. As you know, he had um, Richard Sherman, who was one of those longer corners. He had Brandon Browner when he first got there. So as we know, uh, Dan Quinn loves those long corners that can press up um, against um, wide receivers and don't let, allow them to get clean releases off of, um, you know, off the, off the snap. He doesn't like them to uh, get off the line. He likes uh, corners that play physical, um, that can tackle well, and that can also have uh, also have long arms that can swat passes away and get their hand on the football and intercept some passes and force some fumbles. So I do think that AJ Terrell is that type of corner that Dan Quinn covets. Um, he's about six one, 185 to 190 pounds, um, a solid tackler. Um, one thing that I really love about AJ Terrell is he did play the game at the highest level um, at Clemson, meaning he played in a, t a ton of big games. He played in two national championships, um, one, one, uh, two years ago against Alabama. They also were in the championship last year. Um, I believe they lost in the championship last year, but AJ Terrell has been in a ton of um, big games, uh, whether it was in the regular season in college football or whether it was planning uh, the college football playoffs. So I do think that he's going to be ready for the NFL. Um, of course, he's going to have growing pains as all cornerbacks, especially cornerbacks, is one of the most uh, difficult positions to play with uh, the changing of the rules of being able to, um, you know, hold players and touch players past five yards. Um, a lot of the legal contact and pass interference is uh, very hard to cover these talented uh, wide receivers nowadays so I do think that AJ Terrell is going to have some growing pains but I do think he's going to be one of the better young corners in the game I do believe that he has a chance to be a number one corner um, right now I don't necessarily think he's a number one corner but I think over time he will develop into a number one corner um, I like what I saw out of uh, Kendall Sheffield and um, I like what I seen late down the stretch of the season um, with Isaiah Oliver. It looked like he improved when Raheem Morris took over uh, the secondary. Um, they improved. So I expect big things out of these young corners that we have. Um, but with A.J. Terrell, I think that he's very athletic, very fast, uh, a very fast player. Um, he's a great athlete, has a great vertical jump. Um, if you go look at his numbers in the combine, he did very well at the combine. Um, and if you go look at his numbers in college, he had some very good numbers um, in college as well. He had a great college tape. Um, and I did actually have the Falcons drafted him in the second round in one of my in my first mock draft that I did for this past NFL draft. So um, I do like A.J. Terrell a lot. And I do think that he's going to be a huge piece to this Falcons team. Um, another thing that I think he's going to add to the team is he gonna add a, he's going to be added as another playmaker on this defense because we really need uh, turnovers. We need guys that go after the football. If you remember last year, the only player or only DB to have an interception last year, um, surprisingly, was Desmond Trufant. He had four interceptions last year. And as you know, he no longer plays uh, for the Falcons. He plays for the Detroit Lions. He signed with the Detroit Lions. So um, I think that A.J. Terrell is going to definitely be able to step in and fill those shoes of uh, Desmond Trufant. Um, another thing that I love about the kid, A.J. Terrell, is he's a guy that goes after the football. He takes chances. He puts me in the mind of like a, a Marcus Peters 
um, an Asante Samuel back in the day where he likes to peek into the backfield and he will jump passes, jump routes um, that can be dangerous at times because you can be susceptible to double moves if you're a player that's trying to jump routes all the time. So I think he has to be careful with trying to jump routes. But once he watches some tape on these NFL quarterbacks and once he gets about eight games under his belt about half the season, I think that he'll be uh, much better at knowing when he's able to take chances and he won't get beat on a, a lot of double moves. But I do like aggressive corners and corners that go for the football. Um, that was one thing that I did love about Robert Alford was when he did get his hands on the football, he was a big playmaker. He was one of those players that if he intercepted the ball, he could take it to the house. And he took, uh, uh, I think, about three or four picks to the house. Um, you know, the most significant one was in Super Bowl 51 against Tom Brady um, when Robert Alford picked off uh, Tom Brady and took it back to the house for a touchdown. So I do see a lot of those traits in A.J. Terrell. Um, one thing that I think A.J. Terrell has over uh, Robert Alford is he's longer. Robert Alford was about 5'10 um, in height, and um, A.J. Terrell goes about 6'1", 6'2", so he's a lot longer and taller where he won't get uh, bullied by those bigger wide receivers, how Robert Alford sometimes would get bullied because he was a smaller type corner. And um, I think that was another reason why uh, Robert Alford would get a lot of uh, pass interference because he was a smaller corner so um, or average uh, average size corner so sometimes I felt like he thought he had to be extra aggressive with wide receivers because of his size so I do think that that's an advantage of AJ Terrell's is that he is um, you know one of the longer bigger corners in the league and one thing that I love about uh, AJ Terrell is for his size he's a lot faster than you would think and for his size um, to me, he plays with great balance, um, does a great job out of his back pedal, and he has great hips where he can move sideline uh, side to sideline. He does a great job of ha uh, having oily hips where he's able to change direction really, uh, really well. Because sometimes with taller corners, one of the big uh, issues is normally taller corners are, um, are not good at changing direction. They get turned around a lot because the, they don't have that lower center of gravity to be able to backpedal and, and when wide receivers come out of their breaks, they have a tough time of slowing down or they have a tough time of being able to change direction with a wide receiver. So I think that's going to be big uh, for AJ Terrell. Um, another kid that I think you guys should look out for, he's not on the Falcons, but I wanted the Falcons to draft him. He remind, uh, reminds me a lot of AJ Terrell is a kid uh, named Cam Dansler, Cameron Dansler out of Mississippi State. He actually was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. He's another corner that's lanky, just like uh, A.J. Terrell. And I think both of these guys are going to be very good young corners. Um, you heard it here first. Uh, Cam Dantzler, uh A.J. Terrell, those guys are going to have big seasons. I really expect um, a big year from both of those guys, but especially from A.J. Terrell. I really think A.J. Terrell is going to have a good season. Um, I think that our pass rush is going to be much improved which is going to make our secondary better because they go hand in hand. If you can get pressure on the quarterback and if our defense decides to blitz more and be more aggressive and stop sitting back on the hill so much and take the fight to the offense, I really think that uh, these young defensive backs are going to have a big season. I think that um, Cam Dantzler or A.J. Terrell, excuse me, and Cam Dantzler, both of those guys I think are going to have uh, have good seasons. But you guys tell me what you think in the comments about A.J. Terrell. Like I said, I think A.J. Terrell is going to be a great cornerback. I really think he's going to take the lead by storm. Um, I see him having about five, four to five interceptions this year. Um, I do think that he has that type of ability. And I know that's putting a lot of pressure on the kid. But I really could see him having, I think his ceiling is like five picks this year. Um, between three and five picks is what I'm calling this year for A.J. Terrell. If he gets more than that, that would be even, you know, even better. But I can see, I can definitely see him getting between three and five picks, um, five being his ceiling, because the kid is a, a playmaker, and we need those playmakers on this defense. So I think that uh, him and Demonte Casey probably will lead the team in interceptions. That one of those two guys will have to be probably the best, the best, inter, uh, best chance of leading the team in interceptions this year. But you let me know what you think in the comments about AJ Terrell. Let me know what you think about the video. I'll holler at you guys. I got to get out of here. But I'll holler at you guys in the next uh, video. 
Um, I'm now a part of um, the Strictly Prohibited Network uh, channel as well. Um, Dex, um, Boom, Mad Mike, uh, Dre, all of those guys, man. Go support a Strictly Prohibited Network. Um, we also um, do Red Cup rants on Tuesday nights at 8. So your boy Ju, um, I'll be appearing on uh, the Red Cup rants with Mad Mike and those guys that I just mentioned. So definitely uh, check us out. Go sub up uh, Mad Mike's channel um, as well. Mad Mike Sports, go sub his channel up. Uh, definitely go hit that uh, like button. Go hit that notification bell for Mad Mike. Um, also go and hit that uh, like button. Hit that uh, subscribe button on the Strictly Prohibited Network uh, channel because I'm now a part of the Strictly Prohibited Network family. So definitely go and hit that uh, subscribe button there as well. And definitely continue to hit the, the uh, that sub button for your boy here at Jew Talk Sports. Um, but I appreciate you guys and I'll holler at you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day. Peace and love and I'm out.